Welcome. Today, nieces and nephews, we are making a Tuscan spice blend. And I'm going to show you how to make your own. Now, don't forget to check the description for the recipe I'm using, as well as there is a link in there to the printable that you can download. It's just a lot nicer to put in your book. So, to start off with, the this is a base blend. It's great. You use it on fish, on chicken, on beef. You can use it as a marinade, or straight up just use it to spice your vegetables if you've roasted some vegetables. I really kind of like to put this on things like uh, my broccoli when I've steamed it or roasted it. Just in general. Now because you're making this your own, you do have the option to leave out some of the ingredients if you don't like them, or add more if you like more. For this recipe, we're going to have six tablespoons of dried basil. We're going to have three tablespoons of sea salt. We're going to have two tablespoons of rosemary, two tablespoons of oregano, two tablespoons of thyme, even though it seems like we never have enough time to do everything. That's a bit of a joke. Two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of fennel seed, two tablespoons of black pepper, and a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now that's considered an optional ingredient as well as either put more or less in depending on what you like. And the recipe will say red, uh, chili uh, flakes, things like that. They're meaning red pepper. So, go ahead and start off by putting in our basil. Go ahead and put in our salt. Rosemary. Oregano. Thyme. Garlic powder. Fennel seed. black pepper, and red pepper flakes. Go ahead and get those out of the way. Go ahead and just give it a bit of a quick mix with your either a spoon, a fork, or just use a whisk like I did. I'm not quite sure that really mixed up enough because of how it poured into my jar. And yes, it did make enough that I can put this into two different jars. There we go. Complete with the mess.
And see, so I'm going to go ahead and make this for a second fill up. And this one can go in the cupboard to go as a spare for when I run out of that one. And there you have it, the Tuscan Spice Blend. Great for meats and vegetables. I always wondered why they say meats, fish, and then vegetables, because isn't fish also a meat? Just something to think about. So, <clears throat> thank you for joining me in the kitchen today while I made this. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you make some yourself and try it out. Leave a comment down below if you did and what you thought of it. And like always, don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Hit the... the notification bell so you can get notified of when I upload and don't forget to hit that like button it might not hit you back though so just be careful about that talk to you later thank you enjoy bon appetit